What's up guys? So Halloween is the latest film in the Halloween franchise. This is a complete reboot sequel, uh, a direct continuation from the 1978 original film, uh, which I do have a review for up on this channel. If you're interested, you could check that out. Uh, and this, once again, stars Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode, and the character has been traumatized from what's happened to her in the original film. So now she has become this sort of this this war machine almost this this traumatized war machine that just wants to kill Michael Myers and is preparing uh, for the day he escapes because she believes it's going to happen and just in case it does she's going to prepare for it she's going to she's going to learn how to shoot a gun she's going to be very skilled and she is a badass Jamie Lee Curtis is a badass in this movie she's fantastic and if you've seen the trailers you know what happens. Michael escapes, and uh, how he gets to Lori, and everything that takes place with that, that is basically the film. And uh, right off the bat, I'll say that it's definitely not as good as the original, but I do think this is the best uh, sequel that uh, they've put out, uh, which is I'm not necessarily saying something, because for me personally, all those films, uh, I, I don't think they're necessarily the, the greatest uh, at all. Uh, I don't think there's a good one uh, in, in the bunch of the sequels, but this is definitely a good movie. But I don't think it's a great movie. It's just good. I think this movie's just fine. Uh, I feel like the acting all around, it's not bad. I think Judy Greer is in, uh, is, she's also in this film and she plays uh, Laurie Strode's daughter. She's very good in the film, very believable how, you know, this one traumatized event that, that, that could that really traumatize Laurie Strode, and as she has a child, it sort of shapes her, her daughter's life and, and sort of uh, tears apart the family in a certain way, because she, Laurie has been so uh, changed by this as a human being. So it, it affects her family as well, so it's like generational... Uh, what what goes on within the generations of, of you know her daughter and then her her granddaughter also who is slightly affected you know she's not uh, communicating with her grandmother as much as she should be I don't think uh, she calls her grandmother she doesn't call her grandma which I found was a little strange uh, but I do feel like uh, there's a lot of fluff in this movie there is a lot of things that happen in this movie that just quite frankly didn't need to happen there's characters in the movie that did not need to be in the film. Uh, there's a police officer that has a bit more significance than you might have thought, uh, and I feel like it was unnecessary and it just went nowhere. It was just kind of dumb to put in there. Uh, there's a new doctor in the film, uh, the new Loomis, as they say, which I feel like was very unnecessary. For me personally, it doesn't make sense why he has a new doctor. I'm sure some people could buy into this, but for me I really didn't. Because in the original film, Loomis says there's nothing else to this person. He is completely evil. So, once Loomis died, I don't know why they needed to get someone else. If this man can't be helped, I mean maybe just to study him? I don't really know, but that kind of character kind of went nowhere for me as well. Uh, and there's something that happens in the middle of film towards the end of the movie with that character without any spoilers. I, I didn't buy it. There was something really dumb that happens and it kind of puts the third act of the film into motion. Why Michael gets to Laurie Strode, how he finds Laurie Strode you know, in her house that's like this war zone. You know, how he got there, I feel, was very lazily written in the plot, very dumb, and I just didn't buy into it. There's a lot of characters, also with the granddaughter in this film. There's a whole side plot with her character that didn't need to be in the movie, did not matter. And also, I feel like the tension building in this movie isn't that great. I mean, sure, there is tension building in a few scenes, but it's just, it, it, it comes and it goes. I feel like in the original film, the tension is built throughout the whole entire movie, just the way that it's done. There's never a dull moment, I felt. There was always tension in that movie. In this film, I feel like it's more, you get your slasher scenes, and then it cuts, and then you get your humor scenes, your, your comedy scenes, and it cuts, 
and then you get a scene of tension, and then it ends, and then you get more humor. I just feel like the tension, when it's there, it's good, but then it stops, and then it picks up again, and then it stops, and then it picks up again, and then it stops. So the whole entire film, I was never really scared. I was never really feeling tense. Even though I did like some of the scenes involving Michael Myers, and they definitely did make him menacing in the film, and his presence again, I really liked that, but it just wasn't very scary for me, and I feel like the tension building could have been a little better, and that might be due to the fact that there's just too much going on in this movie. I feel like the, the plot between Laurie Strode and Michael Myers is the best part of the movie, but it's not it's not like the main focus. I mean, in a way it is, but there's just a lot of other things going on here that just didn't need to be going on, and the humor didn't work for me either. I feel like when the movie does add humor, it's not like just one clever joke and one joke and then you're moving on. It's like there's a scene in like the middle of the film where it's just you're joking, you're joking, you're joking, it's just two characters talking to each other. And it's like, oh, this one's going to say something funny, then this one's going to say something funny, and it turned into a comedy for one scene. But the movie is gruesome. Uh, I thought the kills were cool. I enjoyed that. It was a very entertaining movie. The movie never really is boring to me. It's just a little over bloated. And uh, the last shot of the film, without giving anything away, for me personally, I'm not sure if the filmmakers intended this certain thought to be put in my head, but with the way the movie ends and the very last shot I'm talking about, and then when it cuts to the end of the movie, when it ends. It left a really weird taste in my mouth. And it put a thought in my head that should have never been put in my head. I'm not sure if I'm the only one that felt like this. The person I saw the movie with also had the same kind of reaction, like what was that all about? And it was weird. But overall, I did like the movie. Uh, it does have very good moments. There's these two uh, journalists in the film. You've seen them in the trailers. I feel like I would have wanted more. Uh, of them. Uh, I feel like that I was really into what they were doing and I would have preferred them over the stupid doctor or I mean the police officer I get why there's a police officer in the movie but he just didn't need to be they, they, they gave him like a history that you didn't really need he could have just been a regular police officer but I think the journalists should have been in the movie a lot more than they were and I really liked what was going on there. And uh, overall, the movie was disappointing for me. But I don't think it's a bad movie by any means. It's an entertaining movie. It's a fun movie to watch. Uh, I think that the score is great. John Carpenter came back with a, like, two other people to do the score for this. And you get all these great callbacks to the original score. Really great stuff here. There's great nods to the original, which I really enjoyed. This movie has good things to it, you know? It's not all like, oh, bad, bad, bad. There is very good things to this movie, but when it is bad, like the script, for instance, when it does get lazy at points, uh, it, it kind of boggles it down a little bit. It is a little overbloated, like I said. And at the end of the day, I'm going to give Halloween three and a half out of five stars. Did like the movie. Uh, it is a fun time. So, guys, comment your thoughts. Do you plan on seeing this? Uh, if you did see it already, what do you think about the series as a whole? Comment below. Also, you can subscribe to this channel. Like I said, I do have my review for the original Halloween up on this channel now. You can check that out. Guys, you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video. You can also follow me on Instagram at KingArises131. Guys, that's been it. Thank you very much for watching my review for Halloween. Over and out.